In this video, I'll be talking about the convection zone of the sun. In this picture, the convection zone is from this point above just the, from the radiative zone top surface to almost to the, the surface of the sun. So this area is the, the convection zone. The, if you look at the, the temperature, at this point, the temperature is about 6,000 Kelvin. And at this point, the temperature is 2 million Kelvin. 2 million Kelvin. So there is a huge, the temperature, the difference. In convection zone, convection occurs because the hot gas is less dense than the cold gas. Remember, hot gas is less dense than the cold gas. It's just like a hot air balloon. A hot bubble of solar plasma rises upward. So the hot plasma here rises upward and then the cooler plasma above it just sinks the downward. So it just forms a cycles. The cycles, the rising of hot plasma and the sinking of cold plasma, this forms a cycle. And this cycles carries or the transport transport energy from the surface of the radiative zone to almost to the, the photosphere. At this point, the density of the gas becomes so low that the photons can just escape into the space. And that's the reason we see, when you look at the sun, we see only the, the photosphere or the surface of the sun. What you see, the surface of the sun is the photosphere. So let me talk a little bit about of the, uh, let me write down all the process here. So in this case, the heated material, the heated material rises to the surface and the cooler material uh, in the cooler material sinks back at the radiative zone. So we already talked about the temperature and it takes almost 10 days to cover to cover the surface here for the photon to travel from this point to this point it takes almost 10 days So yeah, um, uh, let me take my word back. It takes about the 10 days for the ionized gas to reach to the surface of the convection zone.
Um, the speed at to which this bubble rises up is about one kilometer per second. So it travels at the ionized gas, we can say. One kilometer per second. So now we'll talk about a little bit about the what is called the the granulation. So in this picture, if you look at this picture, this arrow here is the where the hot plasma is rising to the, the surface, and as it is rising to the surface. The gas here is sinking below it. So here you will have a bright spot and here comparatively you will have a dark spot. You will have a bright spot and then the, the dark spot here. So this bright spot is called the, the granulation. So this is, if you look, take the, the picture of the, the sun, this is what, what it looks like. Here, the brighter region here, the, the hot gas or the plasma is rising and here the cool gas is sinking and this is where the cycle is the forming. So the, the diameter or the, so if you look at the, the diameter, this area or this length is about 1000 kilometer. So the brighter spot here is the, called the, the granulation and you can easily demonstrate this sort of granulation at your home so you might have seen the uh, the the water the the bubbling so when you look at the the from the top you will see the uh, the bright spots there the bubbles that means the heart the water is rising up and at the other point the cool water is sinking down so it forms a cycles so in this case now, uh, the, for the sun, the bright region is about 1,000 kilometers.